Stop that. Stop that. Right, okay. Sorry. On your marks, get set, go. Well, hello, creatures, ladies, gentlemen, and more creatures of internet land. Welcome to another podcast. Uh, it's called 20 Minutes to Pick Up. If you've never seen this podcast before, well done. And if you have seen this podcast before, shh, sorry, it's still not going to get any better. And uh, but I'm very excited about my uh, co-host this week. He's uh, he's an actor. He's uh, he's quite cheeky actually. He's a storyteller. He's my brother from another mother. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeremy Ratchford. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm very much liking the festive look. Right yeah, it's my uh, Santa beard. No, I wasn't meaning. I was meaning your reindeer thing, oh, thing like that. that. I think too. you might have to go with that because otherwise it looks like you've got really furry eyebrows. As I was kind of like yeah, it. yeah, yeah, like that thing. So, so Jeremy, you know, yes. I, I know you've been up to a lot of things, right? Because because uh, you live down the street and I know all your business. Uh, uh, but um, you know, because you've been filming, you've been doing the Longmire. Yep. You did. Uh, can I talk about the other one? Yep. The the N- NCIS NCIS ladies and gentlemen is that out yet has it been out yet uh, actually I just got a text this morning someone's out in Canada and I think it aired three weeks ago no, I, I hey, never know no hey, right. so you don't watch I, yourself do you watch I, yourself I, I, uh, do you ever watch yourself and go hey sexy guy every time I look in the mirror <laughs> Do you know what? I, I get really kind of annoyed when you're in television shows because I know the back of your head, right? <laughs> so, like, I'll watch a show and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not... And then I go, ah, oh, it's Jeremy. That's not that guy, it's Jeremy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, but aside from doing that, you've also been learning uh, storytelling. Yes. You have. And although you've always been a guy who did a bit of storytelling yeah. anyway, is it? Is it? Yeah. Is there something going on today with you? Yes. No, 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 I don't mean that. I mean, what's happening is, I, I'm doing all the talking, and it, it feels odd for me, because that's not how our conversations go. Freaky. Right? Really? Freaky. freaky. It's freaky. What's happening? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> Jeremy Ratchford. Is your nose growing? <laughs> <laughs> so you, are you Put do, your clothes are, on. Are you doing a bit of storytelling? I am doing a storytelling performance uh, tonight at the, what is it? Sidewalk, right? Sidewalk, Sidewalk Cafe. Sidewalk Theatre, it's not a cafe. Oh, Sidewalk Theatre. It's not a cafe. Uh, if you were expecting uh, like a burrito there, you'd be, and you know, it's not going to happen. Right. Sorry. Um, did I interrupt you? I interrupted him. I can't believe I did that. You let me interrupt you. Okay. He's leaving a pause between his words. Yes. What the hell is going on? I know, right? Um, but for you out there, uh, I have been taking the, the You Tell tells? Yours <laughs> storytelling class <gasps> taught by this one over here. Uh, and tonight is, uh, uh, would be, this will be the third or fourth performance of your class. Well, this will I be call it a my story- second. I, I call it a storytelling event. Yes. Event. This I is the fourth uh, event? Uh, it might even be the fifth. Is it the fifth? I think it might be the fifth. The fifth event. I think so. Is it the fourth? The fifth event. That was a Bruce Willis movie, wasn't it? It was like the fifth. Um, What, the fourth event? The fifth event. The fifth event. Element. The fifth element, right, okay. So, no, it's... Wow! (laughs) What? We're a bit tired, aren't we? Oh, we are. Do you know what it is? It's a bit... I can't believe that he's letting us talk. It it must be something to do with Christmas or something. Is it to do with Christmas? Are you a Christmas guy? I'm tired. Are you a Christmas so, guy? Is this, this is the lead up. It's all those parties and stuff coming up. Like, show oh, business. Man. No, the other th- the show business and but the filming. The other thing is, I, I had the stomach flu on the weekend. Oh, and I, I really <laughs> it's gone. Uh, it's, oh. I slept for a day, and that's when you realize your body just kind of goes. When was the last time you slept? I had another chat this morning too, because is anyone that I have three children, eight. 11 and 5. So from about 6 o'clock in the morning on, it's even on weekends, it's just game on, it's full on. I feel like I should be wearing a red vest with a whip and a chair. Um, they're spirited. I'd like to see you in that. A red vest and a whip and a chair. Ooh. <laughs> um, I don't know why I said that. I think I've seen that and we are in the holidays, so every day is like, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, 
You ain't gotta make cookies. You ain't gotta go. And there's another what, party. Is it too, much you you? Is it too much happiness for you? Is it too much happiness? It's too damn too much, much happy. happiness. And we got the progressive party on Saturday, well, which I completely forgot well, about. I know. That's a mental. Well, you know, you're coming here for the karaoke, right? I know. Yeah. We do this thing in our neighbourhood where we have like a, a progressive party, which is it's not progressive in kind of like a sexy negligee way, not that kind of progressive party. It's progressive in an American way. Which isn't really progressive, is that terrible? But like, what happens is, like, the neighbours in the neighbourhood, there's like, how many houses? Uh, uh, six well, or seven houses. Yeah. And uh, what you do is Eight they all ten. gather at one house for appetizers and then go another place for entrees and then they come somewhere for desserts, right? And this year it's only appetizers and desserts and they're, everybody's coming here for desserts. And then yeah. it's the karaoke's coming out, the karaoke's coming out. Uh, you're quite a singer. <laughs> you are quite. Have you been practicing? No. No. As you can hear, yeah. people have turned on their heat in Los Angeles because it's gone below seventy-eight degrees out mm -hmm. there. Uh, and funny. when people turn on the heat, uh, the moisture leaves the air, and I start to sound like Tom Waits. It's good though. You could do some Tom Waits songs. I probably could. It's really weird that in LA actually, because it's like eighty degrees and people are wearing like woolly hats and. <laughs> Boots and stuff, and I remember. And those ski jackets, the big, you. yeah, the, the big, big. Oh, I was wearing one of them this morning. Mm. A big ski jacket. Mm. And well, you know, it was sixty degrees. <laughs> People put their motorcycles away. Forty-eight this morning. Forty-eight degrees this morning. This is a fascinating podcast, don't you think, yeah. ladies, gentlemen, and creatures? We, you know, we're, we're talking to our parents. What's the weather like? <laughs> oh, yesterday I put on a sweater. <laughs> I totally am turning into my uh, to my parents. I think both of them sometimes. Well, my, well. I just remember. Remember we had that guest who said, um, "Will I be cold outside?" Oh yeah. <laughs> and which is a really interesting way to phrase it, isn't it? It's yeah. like it's not. Is it cold? No. Will I feel cold outside? I, I yeah. Don't know. That. Yes. That could happen. No, uh, my dad, it was funny because uh, it's all perspective, it's down to perspective. My dad, when we were in Holland, we used to go to this little uh, island off the west coast. Sorry, I just keep thinking about your parents sneaking up on that lake. Don't think about his parents. They might watch this. Right, but they're sneaking up on a lake. You can't show the picture of your parents sneaking up on a lake. Yeah. I've never seen two people sneak up on a lake. <laughs> When we, we used to go on a uh, vacation to this place called Millport, which is on this tiny island outside, uh, on the west coast of Scotland, in, in like sort of central belt, right? And whenever it was 80 degrees, my dad would go, Aye, it's a scorcher, yeah. right? And like here, if it's 80 degrees, people are like, oh, better get my cardigan out, you know? They won't go in their swimming pool. It's mm. 80 degrees. I know. Well, it's heaven. What, in the swimming pool? Oh no, swimming pools down here are nuts. Why you would have a heated pool in California? I know, right? I don't get Anyway, enough of us talking about our pools and uh, and the weather and all that. Do you ever get the feeling that we know each other too well? <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're, you're watching everything <coughs> at all. I'm thinking we might review some records, Mark. Yeah. Review some records. Could you get your wee naked ass over to where the records are? Oh no, you put them over there. Okay, so you would. This is ridiculous. One of our guests, actually, our co-host, has to pick up his own record. Okay. I was going to walk in front of the camera, and that might now, be unpleasant for some If you've people. never seen. Yes, me if my nose was growing. No. If you've never seen this before, what happens is we're trying to clean out the house. We've got a lot of stuff going on in here, and I'm trying to clean out the house. <sighs> And uh, so what I've said is. Can we just move the podcast into my house and just start getting rid of shit? Do you want to move the podcast into your house? Just, you could technically, yeah. technically... Like 24-7, we'll just put things up going, who wants this? No. <laughs> who wants this? Who wants... If we could do like a podcast stroke eBay <sighs> thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. I need that. I heard this woman this morning say this thing where she went, I have too much furniture, come take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even selling it anymore, I have too much stuff. Do you know what? That's the thing about Christmas, actually. Which is that you're encouraged to buy. I mean, they're like, have you bought enough? Do you have enough things? Are your stockings stuffed enough? Do you have enough stuff in your stockings? And I'm like, I, I feel this kind of weird thing. Maybe it's my age, but I'm like, I have just too much stuff. Uh, I don't want to buy any more stuff. I don't want any more stuff. Two things I heard about Christmas is yeah. that it's a great reason to sit around a dead tree and eat candy out of a sock. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, when bitch, I, if you're I, watching. When I was a kid, it was, a soak. we used my dad's socks instead of the stockings. Yeah. Uh, and people down here don't know about Boxing Day. I know, right? They all, like, honest to God, every American thinks, uh, like, boxing? Yeah. Like, no, boxing. To be fair, bo I used to think that, though. When? Well, when you were a kid? Yeah, when you were a kid. But I'm talking adults. Oh, well, you know. Is there some boxing? Is it like football? Like, is it yeah. the day after Christmas football game? Um, but Boxing Day is traditionally where you would take the boxes of your from your new toys, your newfound bounty at Christmas, and put old toys in it and give those away. Do you know what? That's not true. That's not why it's called Boxing Day. Nice yeah, that's what it was. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's totally yes, not. It is. It's not. It's, you're you're making this crap up. He's making up. What it is, is when um, when uh, there was people... You don't know, do you? You're I totally, this up. I totally you do. You can hear the... Fi and, um, uh, and there was a penguin. And, uh, it's okay. not. It's to do with that, that. Like when people had maid servants and stuff like that, when they had like staff... Right, the staff wouldn't get any time off on Christmas Day because the staff were having to cook for the gentry and all so that. So they stuff. go in the backyard and box? No. So the day after Christmas, right, was the day that the staff got to have their Christmas. And so, like, they would, like, you know, box the stuff for the leftovers and whatever with the staff. It was something like that. But that's what it is. Boxing Day is not to so do. So mine's with... wrong, but yours is something like that? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. And no, I think what she's saying is definitely totally and utterly wrong. All right. Ours is nearly correct. Excuse. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and creatures of the internet. <coughs> if you, did you have to cough right in the middle of that sentence? Right in the middle of that sentence. Ladies, gentlemen, and creatures. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I really hate this podcast sometimes. I know you do all the time, but, like, you know, a little bit of pain is pleasure. No. Right, if you have d a better definition of what Boxing Day is, then please make a comment or uh, or email. They can't email us, can they email us? <coughs> I had to, because I've been waiting. Just cause you, you, I gave thing. you all the time, and then you yeah. went on. and You you can uh, make a comment as to what what is Boxing Day. What is Boxing Day? And if you don't know what it is, what would you like it to be? You could tweet it. You could tweet it. You could tweet it to Lynn me. Fergie. Lynn Fergie. Do you have a... You've got this weird thing going on with Twitter. You know that? There's, well, there's a, somebody that says they're Jeremy Ratchford, but they're not, and they do horoscopes. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Jeremy Ratchford, who's not Jeremy Ratchford, just cut it out. Yeah, maybe there's somebody from Anonymous could hack them and get rid of them. No, anonymous don't hack people that do horoscopes. And they're, 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 they're taking care of bigger matters right yeah, now. Yeah, right. Than, They've got a lot... Is it No. So, uh, yeah, you need to do something about that, man. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Well, Someone you know, is, like, literally pretending. saying they're me, and they have Jeremy Ratchford on their Twitter. I have to be Jeremy Ratch, the number four, and then D. So it's Jeremy Ratchford. Yeah. Because uh, he is Jeremy Ratchford. Um, but he even has a picture of you. He has a picture of me, and it says, Hey, I'm Jeremy Ratchford from Cold Case. And it's like... Maybe no, you're not. Anonymous might have like an intern or something that they could put onto this. Anonymous are not going to do anything about this, right? I don't know why. Why are you talking about anonymous? Well, you are know you what? In oh, anonymous? Are you in anonymous? If anyone wants anonymous? to anonymously deal with the situation for me, and then about anonymous. You know, if you want to anonymously deal with the situation for it, and then anonymously come and take the crap out of my house, that'd be awesome as yep. well. Which brings us neatly back to. The record Why of do Shazam birds suddenly appear every time, every time you are near? Ooh. Just like me, they long to be close, close to you. Do you know that's not on this record? Um, you've got oh, you've got sweet sweet. I don't know what sweet sweet, sweet, sweet smile. smile. Jumbo like a fish pie, baby uh, gumbo. Okay. Can't smile without you. Can't smile without you. I won't last the day without you. Is it quite needy? Do you know what? As an album, this is quite needy. I can't smile without you. I won't last a day without you. Only yesterday, Only. solitaire. Yeah, please, Mr. Postman. Please, Mr. Postman. I need to be in love. Wow, yeah, yeah. man. Happy? Oh, well, I'm glad so. you're finally happy. There's a kind of hush. All over was the it, Was it Herman and the Hermits that did that? Because that was the first kind of, you could almost hear the accent. No. A lot of the Beatles songs, you couldn't really hear it, but then it was like, there's a kind of hush. 
all over the world. Do you know what? As words go, as words go. Oh God, for calling occupants of interplanetary craft. I don't like the word craft. hush. I don't like the word hush. I don't like it. Okay, okay. calling occupants. So I'm just letting you know that. That was the weirdest song. I, I haven't seen that song in years, but that's it. Calling occupants of interplanetary, most extraordinary. It was, they must have done some Beatles acid or something. But it was written by the Clatoons. Who are the Clatoons? The Clatoons. Were they, were they occupants of an interplanetary class? Do you believe oh, in aliens? Right. Oh, God, yes. You do believe in oh, aliens? Oh, God, yes. You believe in aliens? Yes. Like in a kind of Trump way or just like in, in aliens? Oh, I mean, um, uh, yeah. I don't think we're alone at all. You oh, don't? God, no. What kind of aliens do you think we've got up there then? Uh, just as, as you scratch the surface. Stay away from us. Yeah. yeah, smart enough to stay away. Oh, yeah, and I think they're watching. I think we're just a petri dish to them. It's like, let's see. There was something as man has gone from, you know, I do believe we come from the monkey, um, and then we've evolved, and there's all these different kinds of. Some of us are still kind of monkey looking. The Homo sapien, and then the. the, 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 the they, I was watching a program that said that there was a whole uh, string of us. At, you know, like, we got off the knuckles and there was the big brow, there was the jaw, the belly, all these evolutionary things that we had. And there's a there's one that's just, it was sort of like someone went, if we were, uh, I'm trying to find the best way to describe this, if we were a brand of cookies, yeah. it's like they just kind of went, we're just going to take that back. So there was uh, an evolutionary stage of us that was on this planet, and now there's absolutely no evidence of it. Gone. Disappeared. So is that a conspiracy theory you're talking about? I think we're a farm team. Oh. Oh. So, so we're like what? A farm yeah. team. A farm Maybe that particular strain was like too stupid to live or Whatever it was. Yeah, but there's no evidence. Like Ladies, they, they, gentlemen, and they creatures of internet land, do you believe in aliens? They have like, they have proof of their existence in the, the skeleton or something, but they have no other, it's like someone just kind of came and went, well, just <clears throat> pay no attention to that, that stage that disappeared. Do you believe I in aliens? I love this shit. Do you, do you believe in aliens? Would you call the occupants of an interplanetary class? I guess I just don't care. Well, and in 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 the biblical paintings, <laughs> like I love your post. Yeah, it's like the universe doesn't care. Lives don't matter to the universe. Yeah, no, no lives matter. Uh, the whole thing that the Mayan calendar started, the whole thing about end of days and all that stuff. We had to do the Mayan thing there. December twenty first, two thousand twelve. The world is going to end. Need a hug. And that calendar started. They said, this is the uh, Chariots of Fire. The, that's the... Do, 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 Isn't that... That's the second six film film, man. No, the guy running along the beach. Do, 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 do. This is as close to running as you'll ever get from me. Do, 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 do. Is that going to be like a trailer for the channel? Oh, man. I love it. And so, it's slow motion. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we're keeping Chariots this. of fire. Oh. Chariots of fire. The do, calendar do, started do, 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 when the Mayans do, do. said that the chariots of fire came out of the sky yeah. and the sky people came down and that's when they said our time on this planet started. Yeah. So the chariots, and if you look back at biblical paintings of these historical moments, biblical historical moments, they have spaceships. They didn't know spaceships back then like we know spaceships. No, they, they I think didn't that was TV. maybe just a little vandal going like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I do believe that... Uh, hey, your chariots of fire was a while ago, wasn't I it? Like? Come in so, peace. are we keeping this? No. Yes, we are. It's staying. It's staying. All right. We'll never get our A&E special. Uh, <laughs> pub favourites. Hey, pub favourites. I figured you would like this. Uh, take me back to dear old Blighty. Right? Uh, there is a tavern in the town. If you were the only girl in the world. You know that song, don't you? No. 
If you what? were the only girl. No, you know what? Hey, hey, you guys, the UK, like you guys sing in pubs. We don't sing in pubs in North America. No. You just look at sport on a big screen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, three o'clock in the morning, Sally. Sally. Yip, I, Addy, I, She's a lassie <laughs> from Lancashire. I just, there's a whole, there's a whole side of your life that's messing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> no. Uh, well, that's the, the, the Star Spangled Banner hmm. is written to the tune of an old uh, pop song. Hmm. Um, oh dear, what can the matter be? Do you know that song? Oh dear, what can the matter be? Annie Lennox exactly. said this too, because the other thing, uh, North Americans traditionally don't sit around the table singing, but they, she's Scottish and she said they used to, that's what they used to they used to sit around the table and sing songs. There's yeah. a, a huge culture, and I uh, dated a, an Irish girl, uh, Julie. Mm. If you're out there, how you doing? Um, and she had these incredible songs uh, that were all it just kind of uh, you you sang them since you were a kid. Yeah. Um, Everybody used hang to down have your head, a song. Tom Dooley. Everybody, do, oh, well, you're, you, yeah, you don't know. But, but, like, we used to have um, um, songs. Everybody would have a song that they would sing. Um, I'm trying to think what my dad's was. was See, but they don't do that here. Yeah, we got to bring, we got to like bring that back. Yeah. Sing songs at the table. Yeah. But we could practice at the karaoke on Saturday. Yeah, the karaoke. See, we are bringing it back, technically. Mm -hmm. We are. Um, would you like to hear any of these? Do you remember, oh dear, what can the matter be? There was a song when we were at school, it was like, oh dear, what can the matter be? I forgot to go to the lavatory. Ba, 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 or somebody, ba, ba, somebody ba, ba, went to the lavatory. See, I know the tunes. He's been there from Monday till Saturday. <laughs> I'm not going back in there. <laughs> or something like that. What was it? That, in fact, that could have been your stomach flu song. Oh dear, what can the matter be? I've got to go to the lavatory. I've been there from Monday to Saturday. It's pretty scary in there. Oh, what? We've already gone past our time. Oh, have we? I, I Your timing was awesome. My, uh, my alarm, I turned it, turned it off. Right, I'm going to play us out then. Yeah. And this one, the William Tell Overture. Yeah, yeah. I used to... Because I have to go at double speed or something. Well, but it, I used sure. to ride around the house when my mother would put this on and pretend I was a Lone Ranger. I'd ride my horse to the William Tell Overture. Did you have a horse when you were a kid? Um, no, my like fake horse. Uh, this Surely is, this we is... can play some of this. <laughs> right, uh, she's a lassie from Lancashire. No, we can have more fun at Parade of the Hawks. No, we're doing this. Take me back to dear old Blighty. Oh, I'd take you back. <laughs> that was loud. Popcorn? We gotta come back for the we gotta do, we'll another, do another episode. We gotta do another segment because yeah, we'll look episode. at that woman. <laughs> Looks like she just came from a key party now. Let you hear more of Take oh, Me Back. Oh, to oh dear, what can the matter be? Got oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I oh dear, what Jeremy's stomach flu song. I wish I could remember that pro. It was, oh dear, what can the matter be? Well, play it. Well, no. So, no, they don't say yes, somebody, don't. somebody's stuck in the lavatory. They yes, don't. don't. Okay. He's been there from Monday to Saturday. Song. It isn't um, the lavatory. Isn't it? Right, ready? Thursday morning. Do you know what? That might look Merry quite Christmas. funny. Merry Christmas. That'll look funny. Can that, that look can, funny. I, can that record actually go then? No. Oh. 
Uh, no. Okay. So, <laughs> I love that second no. Uh, no! No. No. <laughs> right, so this has been an episode of... Uh, it's been an episode of something. <laughs> you know, it's been an episode of Jeremy and I not giving a rat's ass about picking up our kids. <laughs> <laughs> It's like uh, it's Jeremy now going. Uh, someone else can do it. Yeah, someone oh. else can do it. So wherever you are, I hope you have a lovely week. And um, and a any messages for ladies, gentlemen, and creatures of the universe out there? Uh, be kind. Oh. To each other. And be kind to each other. Yeah. When did you get to be such a sap? What happened? I don't know. All right. I'm tired. Let, let people in your country. Yeah, let no. Yeah, build a bigger yeah. table, not a bigger fence. Don't don't start That's getting, a good one. Build yeah. a bigger table, not a bigger fence. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're going. Uh we will see you again soon and have a lovely week. Bye. <laughs> random, right? Random. I love it. Yeah, I, I do so much enjoy. What the random just thing? being here. It's just Oh, so, if you want to ask a question, I can't guarantee we'll answer it, but um, but I'll try. You could tweet me a question at, at Lynn Fergie, or, um, or you can make a comment if you're watching this on the video. And, um, oh, you know what would be awesome? Can you share this? Thanks. Alright, see you later.